Yeah, hello. Hello. You gonna help me film a video? Alright, we've got a kid on the table. You know what that means. It's build video time. We've got a brand new TLR 8XT nitro and electric truggy ready to build. So we're gonna go ahead do a build series video with this. Uh, I am gonna build it nitro because personally I like a nitro truggy, but just for a little insight, in the box when you purchase this truggy, it comes with a nitro version and an electric version. So it's just one chassis, but it comes with all the parts to configure the truck how you want it. So you can build electric or you can build it nitro uh, based on what your preferences are. So like I said, I'm gonna build this nitro. Uh, this is kind of just the intro video for what we're gonna put into this. I believe we're gonna go ahead and do spectrum servos, an OS engine, OS pipe. Um, I guess that's the only electronics we put in there. Probably receiver pack, dynamite receiver pack, spectrum radio train or radio receiver combination. So uh, stay tuned. This build's going to be pretty awesome, and I hope you enjoy. All right, everyone. So we have our truggy kit here on the table. Now this first video is just going to be kind of setting stuff up on the bench. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this, get everything out of the box, put the box off to the side, and kind of organize our bench so we can start building. You know, a clean bench is way easier to start building something than a messy, unorganized bench. So before I put the kit up here, I went ahead and cleaned off my desk, got it all nice and cleaned out so we can open this guy up and get it all laid out. So we'll go ahead and open it up here. Everything in our kit. So we're just going to go ahead and take bags out. We can go over this stuff once we get it out of the box and get the box out of the way. We're going to put the body up here. Just get everything out of this box. This is a lot of bags in here. Big old chassis. And then manual stickers and such. And then we're going to go ahead and set the box off to the side. All right, so now that we've got everything out of the box, now we can kind of go through it. So the manual and stickers, of course, we're gonna need right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here on the toolbox. Chassis, uh, I don't know if we're gonna need this right away, so we're gonna just set it up there. And then the nice part about this, uh, the way TLR labels their bags, is they're all labeled alphabetically. So we have bag D, bag B, let's find bag A here. G, bag K, F, I, E, there's bag A right there. All right, so we got bag A, so we're gonna go ahead and over here to my left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and set the bags up in alphabetical order so I can kind of just see what I'm working with here. So we got A over there. got our bags organized. Now the next thing we're going to do is pop open the manual and see what tools we're going to need for this build. So I've got a general idea of the tools we need, but we're just going to double check and make sure that we have everything that we want. So we've got our manual out. Now these stickers, there's stickers, paint, max, paint masks, and an antenna in here. Now we're not going to need this until the truck is done. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this off to the far side so we can access it later. So we got our manual here, 8XT, 8XTE. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up. So this is a bunch of just warnings and stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just skip through this for now and just get to the tools that it recommends we need. Just got a phone call there. Oof. He can, uh, we can talk to him later. All right, so uh, a couple of the things you're gonna need, thread lock, black grease, glue, which we have. We got black grease here. We got thread lock in my toolbox. We're gonna leave it in there for now. Uh, there's the tools, I skipped right past it. All right, so here it's gonna label all the tools you need for this entire build. So we need a 050 wrench, uh, 1.5, a two millimeter, a 2.5, and a 3.5. Now, the, the main three that I'm worried about right now are the 1.5 through 2.5. So we're going to go ahead and reach over into our toolbox and kind of get these out 
and just lay them off to the side. I like to have the tools that I'm going to use the most out of my toolbox and laying on the bench already. And I like to label them, you know, from smallest size to biggest size. And then we are going to go ahead and get our five millimeter um, nut wrench out. So I know we're going to need that to put shocks on or, or something like that. So we're going to, we're going to leave that guy over to the side here. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit and go ahead and use a power drill, a power driver. So I'm going to leave my power driver off to the side, but I'm going to get these same wrenches. I'm going to get the drill bits out for those because we're going to need those to assemble it. Now we, you might be asking why I'm using drill bits and hand tools, mainly because when you're building a fresh kit and you're using the drill, um, the plastics are real hard and they're not threaded in. So the drill is only going to drill the screw in so far, and then you're going to have to go in with the hand wrench and tighten it the rest of the way down. So that's why we got these and the hand wrenches out, uh, just for that purpose. Now, these other wrenches that we need, we're not going to get out right away. Uh, oh, I lied. We're going to get an exacto exacto knife out because we're going to be using this the most often to open these bags up. But these other scissor, these other. Uh, uh, tools like body scissors, pliers, needle nose, and a couple other wrenches. We're going to leave those in the toolbox just because we don't need them as frequently as these ones that we've laid out to the side here. Um, and when we need those, we can just go into our toolbox and get them. I just like to have them to the side for easy access. Uh, now back to this next page. Um, we are needing thread lock, which we're going to keep in the toolbox until we need it. Um, black grease we have off to the side over here. Uh, CA glue, we're going to keep that in our toolbox as well until we need it. Uh, a motor spray, which we have Dynamite Magnum Force right here, uh, which is actually what it recommends. That's kind of nice. Um, silicone, uh, essentially shock and diff oil, which the kit comes with. I have some extras over to the side here if we really need them, but uh, that might might not be necessary. So uh, the next thing is going to be go ahead and like getting into the bags and start building with the bags, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to leave that for the next episode. We're kind of just getting our pit space all set up here um, so we can do a successful clean build. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys hanging until the next build episode. So uh, give me some recommendations for, for what you want in this kit and in this build. Uh, I'll be, be sure to listen to those comments. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.